I just want to start this video off by announcing the giveaway winners Polygel Silvas, Nokia Juice, FL Brittany, Miss Hood Borges, and Tatiana. Congratulations to you guys, and thank you once again for everyone who entered the giveaway. And don't worry guys, another giveaway is coming very soon. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into this video. So today we are trying the green polygel kit from McCart. This kit comes with a 180 grit hand file, a brush with a spatula on one end and a brush on the other, nail surface cleanse or a slip solution, base coat and top coat. And this kit comes with four different polygels. The first color is clear. We all know McCart has the clearest polygel out there. The next color is this really nice light green color. The next is a darker shade of green. And the next one is this more bluish green. And here are how these swatches look side by side. And now I'm going to cure those in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. That is everything that comes in the kit. So let's get right into this nail set. So I'm just starting off by gluing on some tips. Um, these are McCart's full cover tips, but I am using them as half tips because I want these nails to be super long. I just glue those on with some base gel. You can use nail glue or base gel. I just like using base gel because it's a little bit easier to take off. And I'm just shaping these nail tips using my e-file and my hand file. If you guys are interested in this kit, make sure you use my code NAILSBYVIC on the McCart website. You can get 15% off your order. This kit is really worth it. I think it is worth the $45, but you will get a 15% discount. So I don't know the math, but it'll be like 30 something maybe. Anyway, definitely recommend the nail set I created. I'm not trying to give any spoilers, but I'm so proud of this nail set and it came out way better than I was expecting. I was not sure at all what to do for this set, but I'm glad that what I did do came out really nice. Next, after the tips are all shaped, I'm just taking the base coat that came with the kit and painting a thin layer on all of the nails, and then I'm going to cure that in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. Here are how the nails are looking, and I'm just taking my slip solution, putting that in the cap, and cleaning off the brush. I didn't know what I was going to do for this set, so I just kind of sat there thinking and thinking, and then I got it. I didn't want to do what everyone else was doing, even though in the end I kind of ended up doing similar to what everyone else was doing. I went for a geode look, you know, the crystals. I mean, geode has a little bit more of a definition when it comes to the kind of uh, sections in the crystal, but I think this was really nice the way these geode nails turned out. I think all the green colors matched really well together, but they were also like a little bit different in their own ways. So I was really out of frame when I was filming some of the parts of this video. I edited this video a lot because I was out of frame in a lot of parts. So I'm sorry if it's like kind of like all over the place and kind of jumpy. I just started off by taking the bluish color, the bluish green color, taking two lines in my nails and then going in with the next color and just going around each line. And then I left a middle section. I used some of this white 
gel polish to add some white into my geode and kind of just put that in the empty space and then cleaned up the empty space and just kind of left it on the sides of the poly gel. Then I took this gold gel polish and just painted that in the empty space in the middle of the nail. Then without curing the gold polish, I just took this glitter and I sprinkled it in the middle of the nail. I just cleaned up the sides and then I encapsulated the glitter part of the nail. Then I started shaping the nail because I really wanted to know what it was going to look like. But then I move on to the rest of my fingers and on the middle finger I decided to go for a marble look. I decided to do geode and marble and I think it worked really well together. On the middle finger I just took some of the light green, some of the dark green, and then that bluish color and just kind of swirled them and blended them together to create a marble effect. These poly gels marbled really easily because the colors were like very similar that it was kind of hard to tell the difference between them but I think that really added to the marble and kind of helped it so it wasn't I didn't have to do too much work when I was marbling them I have been so excited to try this kit I love how the kit is all like themed to the one color not only are the poly gels the kind of green scheme but everything that comes in the kit is also a green color and I I absolutely love that it just puts the whole kit together and it gives it this like nice and neat finish. So on the middle finger, I was going to add this marble line in the middle of the nail. And I ended up not liking it, so I wiped it off. And then I just decided to leave it plain and then moved on to my ring finger. And then I did marble on that nail too. Then I added too much white onto this finger and it was just not looking how I wanted it to look. So then I wiped it off and then I just restarted. I just went back in and added less white and more of the colors, the green colors. So I just marbled all the colors together, made sure I added some clear to add some kind of clear elements to the marble nails. So I'm glad I decided to go this route of the marbled and the geode look. I like how the geode adds some kind of, it adds something different. I've never done a look like that with the geode, kind of like the straight, making the poly gels go in a straight line and then having the glitter run through the middle of the nail. I really like that for this set, the gold with the glitter, it just added something that this set needed. Everyone was using this kit to do jade nails and I could have easily done, just marbled all the nails and added some gold flakes on there, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. It's not completely different because yes, I did do marble still, so. but I think adding the little two geode nails really kind of added something different to the set. So after I marbled the middle finger and the ring finger, I just went in and then I did the same geode pattern on the pinky finger that I did on the pointer finger. And for the pinky finger, I wish I made the gold line a little bit closer to the middle of the nail i did it kind of to the edge of the nail but i still think it turned out all right so i'm just doing the same thing adding the white polish around the poly gel and then putting gold into the empty space in the middle of the nail. And then sprinkling on some glitter and then I'm curing that in my nail lamp. Then 
I am encapsulating it with some clear poly gel. And then I'm going in and doing the thumb. I'm just marbling the thumb just like the middle and ring finger. I wanted the thumbnail to have a lot of clear on it. I put some extra clear in there. So here are how the nails are looking after the poly gel has been applied and now I'm just going in and encapsulating the marbled nails because you want to encapsulate the marble nails because if you don't, when you go to file, everything that you kind of blended and if a poly gel is overlapping a different poly gel and you go to file, you can file off the overlapping part. You want to make sure you encapsulate the nail. Next, I'm going in with my hand file and I'm using the 100 grit and shaping the nails. I could have used the file that came with the kit, but I honestly didn't want to ruin it because I just wanted to save something from that kit and leave it nice and clean because that kit is so, it's so pretty. It's so pleasing to the eye to see all the products all the same color. Really like that about this kit. So I'm just shaping the nails. I'm using my e-file and my hand file. After the nails have been shaped, I'm just going in and buffing the nails. And then I just washed my hands to get rid of all the dust. And here are how the nails are looking. Next, I wanted to add some bling. I never do bling. The only bling I do is cuticle gems or like a little one gem at the cuticle area of the nail. But I wanted something a little more. I wanted more gems for this look. So I took my clear poly gel and put that near the cuticle area of my nail and kind of in the middle of my nail because these gems are going down the middle of the nail and I just flattened that out with my brush and then without curing the poly gel I went in with some top coat and painted a layer of top coat over the uncured clear poly gel. Then I took my wax pencil and some gems and then I just did my gem design. And that is basically the gem design. I made sure it was in the middle of the nail and then cured that for 30 seconds in my lamp. Then I just did the same thing on my ring finger. I added the clear poly gel, flattened that out. 
then added some top coat over the uncured poly gel. And then I just added the same gem design that I did on the middle finger. Once that is in the middle of the nail, I am just curing that for 30 seconds. Then I'm going in with top coat and adding top coat to the rest of my nails. Next, I'm using my dipped in dusted nails cuticle pen and brushing some cuticle oil near my cuticles. And then I'm just rubbing that in. And here are how the nails turned out. These nails turned out so good. At first, I did not even know what I wanted to do with this poly gel kit because I didn't want to do a jade look like everyone was doing. I wanted something different. I wanted to create something a little bit different. And I think I did such a good job with this set. It turned out so good. Let's talk about the poly gel. The poly gel, it's good as usual. McCart poly gel is always good. You guys know that I use McCart in a lot of my videos. No complaints about it. Sometimes it can be a little bit stiff, but it honestly could just be that it's cold in my room. McCart sent me this kit for free, so thank you, McCart. I really do appreciate it. The geode nails are not really like noticeably geode. They just kind of look like they got a gold river going down the middle of them. I still like it. If you look closely, you can see kind of these sectioned poly gels. I think the colors in this kit was amazing. I love everything about this set that I created. If you guys are interested in this kit, make sure you use my code NAILSBYVIC on the McCart website. You can get 15% off your order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.